righty. Welcome to our very first terrific kids ceremony. Y'all clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. We have some beautiful people in the audience. More importantly, we got some great children in the audience. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing. Terrific Kid just allows us to really highlight the behaviors of some choice students in and outside of the classroom. So we certainly appreciate them. We also appreciate, um, we know they couldn't do it without you all. They have a wonderful support system. So clap it up for yourselves, parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles. Without you all, they will not be shaped and molded into the student that they are now. Um, this year's Terrific Kids ceremony is a little bit different. We usually do character counts, but we have decided to make a switch in our district this year and really highlight six competencies um, in what we call portrait of a graduate. So I'll just go over those right quick, and then we'll talk about the highlighted one for this, um, this first ceremony. Uh, fearless learner, which we will be highlighting today right? A fearless learner. A fearless learner um, confidently and eagerly approaches learning challenges and is excited to gain new insights and innovations. A learner demonstrates foundational literacies in reading, math, science, civics, technology, finance, and culture. And that's what we hope to ingrain in our students by the time they get to high school and graduate. So today, that is, that is the competency that we will highlight. Who in here is a fearless learner? We, we know that that entails failing sometimes. Learning sometimes entails failing. But the, the importance of that is making sure you get back up and continue the process, because we can learn from our failures. We can learn from our mistakes. It is important for us to be fearless. I won't read all the other competencies, the paragraph on them, but I will let you know uh, the title of them. The next one is Innovative Problem Solver, Global Citizen, Engaged Collaborator, Resilient Individual, and Confident Communicator. But like I said, we will highlight Fearless Learner. Let's go ahead and just look at some of our partners for just a quick second, because we couldn't do this without them. They've been doing this a long time. Each student will get a coupon from Zaxby's, y'all clap it up for Zaxby's. And if the children don't like it, I'm sure the parents can just go ahead and eat what they have. All right? Uh, muscle Whites, who likes Muscle Whites? Okay, not, some people said no. Some people said yes. So as long as we got a few, right? Um, I'm fumbling through my papers. Oh, CP Deli. Okay. Man, boy, this is a tough crowd. Y'all want some home-cooked meals, all right? This has nothing to do with food, but it is Pax Karate. Y'all want your children to defend yourself, don't you? All right. And then our biggest partner is the Azalea City Kiwanis Club, and I'll invite this young man, I say young man next up, to me that's been helping us out for a long time. Y'all give it up for Mr. Charles Overturf. Thank you, sir. On behalf of about 60 other members of Azalea City, we just want to take a moment to welcome our parents and grandparents. It sure is good to have them back in the audience. We, we really missed them. Uh, so we're, we're glad that you're here this morning. Uh, as he said, this is special because 29 years ago, at the Mosley campuses, it was across the street. We had our very first terrific kids, and we've expanded it to all the elementary schools in the county. So uh, we've honored a lot of great kids over the years, and I know looking at these smiling faces, we will continue to do that today. As he said, their, their district is going in a different direction, trying to motivate them uh, as far as the learning and all, and so we're certainly proud to be a small part of that. We say again to our students, thank you for what you're doing and just keep up the good work. I'm sorry, I like to celebrate. I was in my car this morning having a good time with the Lord. Just thought I'd let y'all know that. All right, I can't, uh, yeah, here, here it comes. 
I got to give a little shout out to my help that helps me because you need a team around you. Just like y'all have a team around y'all, you need a team. I got a team because my mind drift. Y'all know me, all right? Uh, Ms. Bellamy in the back over there. Y'all go ahead and look at Ms. Bellamy over there. That's our instructional coach. Old black people say coach. You understand? That's in our instructional coach. You got that? All right. We got Ms. Kristen White, our counselor. She is like, why are you doing this to me? I've been knowing her a long time. I swear the armpits. Been knowing her a long time. She taught my oldest son. Mm -hmm. So we go way back. Uh, I know she's trying to hide over here. Miss Cindy, you want to come and wave to the people? All right. We refer to her as Cindy Lou Who. And, and Miss Amber Simons. Y'all say hey to Miss Amber Simons. Amber Simons hold everything down. I can trust her, you understand, holding the children down. All right, we're going to go ahead and get it going. If I happen to butcher your children's name, please don't hold it against me. I still love them. I mean, Hooked on Phonics evidently works for me, too. All right. Denila Hardy, come on out here, girl. Come step to the center right here, baby. Very good. The title of fearless learner most certainly goes to our Denila. She's always the first one with her hand raised and sets a great example for her peers. Denila is a hard worker and is always asking just the right questions to keep our learning discussions going. She's a joy to have in class and has an extremely bright future ahead. Keep shining, Denila. Love, Miss Erickson. Y'all clap it up for her. Very good. The children look so great, don't they? We do this for the kids. We do it for the kids. Araya Seymour, come on out here. Yes. Get that camera. All right, Araya loves to learn. It is important to her. She's often the first to raise her hand to offer an answer. It's because she's sharp like that. That wasn't in my notes, but I just decided to ask. Araya is not afraid of making a mistake or saying the wrong answer because she knows that mistakes help her learn. Hallelujah. That a preach right there. Araya is a fearless learner. That's what Ms. Lanier said about you. Very good, very good. Levi David, come on out here. What's up, Levi? Boom. Go ahead and go around there. He just wants to, he's like, what you got for me? What you got for me? Go ahead and turn and face the camera so the people in TV land can see you. Oh, Miss Vargas, she didn't mess around him. She wrote a book about you. Y'all take this note down. I got to have a conversation with Miss Vargas about. All right, I chose Levi as my fearless learner because he has so much confidence in himself and is always striving to be. Ooh, Levi was just going. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got to keep you back here. You didn't broke my train of thought. All right. Confidence in himself and is always striving to be the best that he can be, both behaviorally and academically. Not only does Levi push himself to be an excellent student and friend, but he encourages his fellow classmates to do the same. He's extremely curious, hence him going to the front over there, and contributes a lot to our classroom discussions. He loves to dissect and explain everything that we learn. Levi is always the first to raise his hand to answer a question or volunteer to take a job. He's always asking me, what can he do to be, quote, unquote, a helper, whether that be passing out papers or leading the line during transition? I know that I can always count on Levi for anything that I need as a teacher, but I can also trust him to be an example to his classmates and lead them towards success. Yes, that's what Ms. Vargas said. She wrote a novel. Y'all clap it up for this young man. All right. 
There you go. Come on, curiosity. Levi carved his own path. He don't care what nobody said. He's going to do it his way. All right, that boy came out swinging his shoulders. I love it. Nigel Simpson, y'all give it up for this man. <laughs> Nigel has displayed Mosley's school-wide success criteria for the majority of the first nine weeks. He comes in ready with his attendance, making sure he is sticking to our daily morning routine. Nigel is respectful with his behavior towards his peers and teachers. I can always count on Nigel to be responsible with his class work. Yes. He will get all his assignments done, and he is always willing to help out his peers. Nigel is definitely a fearless learner, not afraid to grab success by the horns. That's what Ms. Rice said about you. Wonderful, <laughs> Nigel, wonderful. All right, Caden Player. Hey, baby. All right, go ahead and go around there. Here we go. Ain't she just so precious, y'all? Yeah, look at they fussing at her in the back, talking about some pool, pool it down, but she's just so beautiful. All right, I chose Caden as my terrific kid because she possesses all the qualities for fearless learning. Caden's confidence level is great to be a little person. That comes from her folks, you understand, instilling confidence in her. Caden's confidence level is great. Kindergarten requires our little learners to learn new skills every day, and Caden fearlessly strives for success. She is such an eager and happy learner. I particularly like how Caden challenges me by attempting to answer every question asked showing us what she has learned. I believe in Caden's academic success, and I can't wait to see her in the future. I love Caden. Go ahead and hashtag impact the world. Hallelujah. That's what Ms. Wright said. And she didn't say hallelujah, but she would have if she was here. You in here. There you go back. To, just wave your, mm-hmm, wave your hand. Hallelujah. Come in there and rub oil on the kids. They don't even know it. That oil all over. All right, Savannah Dunbar. All right. Savannah is a terrific kid. Savvy and conscientious, hardworking student, is she? She's kind and respectful to her peers and adults. Savannah is self-motivated and puts her best effort into assignments. She's an enthusiastic learner who enjoys school. Savannah's committed to doing her best and sets an example of excellence in behavior and cooperation. I love you, Savannah, and I am blessed to have you in my class. That's what Miss Anderson said about you. That's very good. All right, y'all, clap it up for her. Such a beautiful smile. Mm -hmm. Like, where, where am I? Go? Where? All right. Oh, yeah. Raphael LeBron Cruz. Well, I'll let y'all know, you know, I know I'm dark, but I got, a little, I got about 10% Hispanic, you understand? I like to speak at you. Hear what I'm telling you? I might not make no sense. But I like to speak that thing. I'm sorry. All right, let me go ahead and grab the folder before I get carried away. <laughs> when Ms. Crawford and myself sat down to discuss who we would choose for a fearless learner, at the same time, we both said the same student. I imagine what that went like. Ah, Raphael Lebron Cruz. From day one, Raphael has shown a love of learning. He's like our little sponge. We have noticed that Raphael demonstrates such a vast need for knowledge. He's always ready with the answers and loves helping his fellow students improve their performance. We have said many times that we would love to be able to clone him. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all give it up for Raphael. That's what Miss Sam and Miss Crawford said. Excellent. Yeah. You know, seems to be, he's a quiet man.
Hallelujah. Jaden Robinson. Jaden Robinson has been chose as Miss Cummings October 22nd, student of the month. Jaden is a fearless learner and enthusiastic student that conquers all of Mosley's success criteria, R3 ABC, in his daily interactions. Entering class with a dimpled smile. Whoa, you got to be careful about that dimpled smile. He is ready with his attendance and greets his peers with a warm hello. Jaden shows his responsibility with his classwork in all subjects and shares stories of his enjoyment of science experiments at home. A.K.A. I'm going to go ahead and tear up the house right quick and call it a science experiment. All right. In class and specials, Jaden demonstrates that he can be a respectful student with his behavior. Always willing to share or help, Jaden is one terrific student. Keep up the great work. Y'all clap it up for Jaden. Love Miss Cummings. That's what she said. By the way, if you wanted to know, we was on first grade. Not that you cared. Oh. Bethany Finch. <laughs> Bethany has been a role model for her classmate this nine weeks. She follows classroom procedures to the best of her ability. This quarter, she has even practiced walking away from classmates to just chill and cool off. That's a good strategy, girl. When she does not agree with them instead of continuing an argument, that, that is a wonderful strategy. We love you, says Miss Vaughn. Y'all give it up for Bethany. <laughs> Side note, Bethany looked just like her mama. Mama, where, there she is. Y'all look at mama. Mama, raise your hand. Now look at, look at Bethany. They, they twins, ain't it? Come on now. Go ahead, Bethany. Go ahead, baby. All right, we moving right along. We got the, what? what I tell you, Jenilyn Robinson. We got another Robinson. Well, I t parents, y'all ought to feel good about this. This is evidence that you didn't did something right. Now, I know that's not correct English, but this is evidence that you didn't did something, that you're doing something right when your child gets terrific kid. You understand? Whatever that may be, whether you might use a tool to get them in line, take away something, give them something, whatever you're doing, I will need you to keep doing it. All right? Jenilyn is a wonderful example of a future graduate. She loves learning and it shows in the classroom. Jenilyn is eager to learn new strategies and new ideas and then share her knowledge with peers. She's not stingy, Miss White. She's going to help you too. You know what I'm saying? She's also a very kind and considerate young lady. Jenilyn is always helping her team to do her best or do their best, excuse me. And she is someone you can count on to always do the right thing. That's what Ms. Winters and Ms. Johnson said about you. Y'all congratulate this young lady. Very good job. All right. We moving on to grade number two. Mariana Lewis. Did I get that right? Yeah. She didn't grow before our eyes. Sister. She didn't grow. I don't know about that. You know about that. Don't try to act like you don't know about the color purple now. You know about it. All right. Mariana is our class terrific kid because she is kind to all and is honest. Yes, honest in every situation. Mr. Overturf, that's a good quality. You know, we can't be lying to the people and make it sound fly to them. We got to be honest with them. She uses her manners and is respectful to everyone she's around. Mariana is a great example to us all, and we are so thankful to have her in our second grade family. That's what Miss Morgan said in place of Miss Bradley. Yes. Miss Morgan is a wonderful addition, I must say that. I taught her in school. Uh-oh. Farron Chacon, come on out here. Yeah, Chacon. Got some good people, man. 
when I was deciding who I would choose for a fearless learner, one person jumped into my head immediately. From the first day of school, Farron has shown leadership in every group he is placed in. He has encouraged, supported, and taught other students how to problem solve using strategies we have learned in class. He's helped other students build confidence. He is first to help others. He sees a problem and steps in to find a solution. Don't we love that? Farron leads his team with confidence while making the others feel important. He never gives up and will not let others give up. That boy's a leader. He makes our class a positive environment with his caring, positive leadership. Y'all give it up for Farron. Miss Noel said that about you, son. Yeah. Oh, DeAsia Davis. Come here, baby. Come give me a hug. You doing okay? Yeah, girl. I want you to know. I know they tell you, but I know that you're going to be somebody. You understand? I know it. Got that? A fearless learner is a wonderful way to describe DeAsia. It is a delight to have her in my second grade classroom. That's what Miss Oliver says. She did a little bit of an acronym here. D stands for determine. She makes sure she completes all of her assignments. A, always respectful. S, smart. Shows no fear in asking for help when she does not understand. I inspiring. She is willing to help others. And A again, attentive. She makes me accountable because she is paying close attention to what I am saying. My fearless learner, DeAsia, I love you. That's what Miss Oliver said about you. Hallelujah. Yes. And I hope this person is watching this. She probably calling me Miss Tammy McCaskill will call me on the phone trying to interrupt everything. I got to have a word with her. All right. Uh-oh. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> All right. Christian Rios, y'all give it up. All right. When I think of a terrific kid, Christian Rios immediately comes to mind. She's an angel. She's an incredible and inspiring young lady. Every single day, she shows up to school positive and ready to start a new day of learning. She's always on task, always works hard, always follows direction, and is always doing the right thing. She's an amazing role model and a fabulous class leader. I always count on her in any circumstance because she represents every pillar of character counts. And I think what she meant to say, too, is every competency, a portrait of a graduate. I should have probably just said that. We are so proud of our sweet friend. Christian is an absolute gem, and we are so glad to have her in our class. It would not be the same without her. We love you, Christian. That's what Miss B. Deffer said. Yeah. I don't know how many of y'all love wings, but I tell you what, Miss B. Deffer, she love a wing. Mm-hmm. All righty. Jartavius Jones. It's another special young man. I don't know what you're going to do, son, but you're going to be somebody. And once I done said it, so it is. Hallelujah. All right. Jartavius. They call you Jar Jar? Okay. Jar Jar Jones. Jartavius is absolutely a fearless leader. He knows how to take charge and set an example in and outside of the classroom. I, I can attest to that. It's a good young man, isn't it, Miss White? We know that. 
I'm very proud to be his teacher and look forward to seeing the great things he does in the future. That's what Miss Chester said about you. We kept it, we kept it sweet, short and sweet. It's a good young man. I don't know what I got to do to make my hair do that, but if y'all know how, then y'all let me know the secret. All right. Oh, I got to I gotta have, I got to do better with this name. Brielle Chaucey. Chaucey? Chaucey. Okay. That's a, I like that name. Chosey, chosen. Somebody preach that. Chosey is chosen. All right, Brielle was chosen <laughs> to be a terrific kid because she knows all of the characteristics of a fearless learner. She is a great leader within her team. She's dedicated to her work and strives to be the best student she can be. She's a fearless learner because she is never afraid to make mistakes. I want to say that again, because some of us get afraid to make mistakes, but we learn from our mistakes. That's what makes us fearless. She faces each challenge with confidence and works through them diligently. You know, he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Put that on y'all right quick. She helps her teammates as best she can by supporting them, starting conversations, ensuring that they are on task, and encouraging them to do their best. Brielle is already so strong and confident. I cannot wait to see the big things she does in the future. I love you and I'm so proud of you, says Miss Collier. Y'all give it up for Brielle. Oh. All righty. Lindsay Ulrich. Y'all give it up. She decided to come and hug me. It's another good young lady right there. All righty. Lindsay is never afraid to step in as a leader and guide her team. I'm going to say that line again. Lindsay is never afraid to step in as a leader and guide her team. She's eager to learn and ready to work every day. That means she's consistent. Lindsay is kind to others and works hard to help others in class when they struggle. I enjoy having her in class, and I look forward to seeing all that she will accomplish this year. Y'all give it up for Lindsay. Love, Miss Fulfer. Your teacher loves you. That's good. Yes. Demaria Curry, come on out here. That's Miss Dot grandbaby. Y'all know about Miss Dot? Well, she could, she, she know how to clean, boy. She'll clean something up. Demaria Curry is an exceptional example of a fearless learner. Exceptional. She always works to improve her skills and never gives up in the face of failure. In class, she's an excellent student who inspires her group mates to be fearless learners as well. She's never afraid to ask for help, nor is she afraid to fail. She simply picks herself back up and tries again. We love you, says Miss Gastulum. Amazing. So good. Boy, you don't know the story. You don't even, you can't even begin to know. You understand? Somewhere, I don't know if the Spirit of God touched them and just turned them all the way around. Y'all give it up for Major Colson. Mm -mm -mm. I think he just made up in my mind, or in his mind, I'm going to be successful. I'm, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it now. Y'all been telling me but I'm going to do my own thing now. It's going to be good. Major is our homeroom terrific kid because he embodies every characteristic of a fearless learner. He comes to school eager to learn and will tackle any challenge that may come his way. Major's enthusiasm when he tackles a rigorous task 
is contagious, infectious. He's unable to hide his excitement and eagerly wants to share with his teammates the new insights he has gained. Major doesn't just provide his group with the answer. He explains his thought process and truly wants to share his findings with his peers. We love you, Major. That's what Ms. Sloan said about you, son. And we do love you. Yeah, yeah, that's it, son. <laughs> All right. Jay Madden, y'all give it up. Yeah. All righty. Jade has been a delight these first weeks of school. Every task Jade has been handed, she tries her best and completes it to the best of her ability. Jade is quick to help others reach their potential and is a perfect candidate to be named a fearless leader. Congratulations, Jade. You earned it, is what Miss Babcock said about you. All right, girl. Mm-hmm. And if you feel like you don't want any of your certificates, then just put them on my desk. Ariana Cantos! Yeah! Ooh, Miss Kellner. Go ahead and write that name down, Bellamy. Kellner then wrote an essay, and I just want to thank her for doing that. Okay, she gave me the, let's go on. Ariana Cantos is a fourth grader who is truly invested in her education. She shows up every day with a smile on her face and ready for a challenge. She's quiet, but never timid. Don't get it twisted. When Ariane earns a grade she doesn't like, she takes her work home and corrects it. Wow. This has resulted in an improvement in grades since the beginning of the year. She desires for growth, which is a true sign of a fearless learner. Her determination and eagerness is infectious. She masters a topic. She is always willing to share her strategies when she does so. Any student who works with her shows growth within just a few days. She's a great example for our classroom and for our community. I find so much excitement in watching her rise to any challenge. This fearless learner has certainly earned the recognition of terrific kid and deserves to be celebrated every day. Congratulations. That's what Ms. Kellner said about you. Very good. All righty. Tamia Brinson. <laughs> Tamia embodies the qualities of a fearless learner. She listens carefully in class, participates in discussions, and completes every assignment. Wow, that's amazing. Even if she finds an assignment difficult, Tamia does not give up. She takes responsibility for her own learning by asking questions when she doesn't understand the material. She's a leader in the classroom and encourages her teammates to stay on task. You know what that looks like, right? Shh. Tamia truly is a terrific kid and a credit to Mosley Elementary. That's what Miss Martin said. Wonderful. Very good, very good, sweetie. We're proud of you. Jasmine, is it Simone or Simon? Simon. Jasmine Simon. Man. Come on, sis. She was like, Simon. My class selects Jasmine as our representative for Fearless Learner. She eagerly approaches all of her classwork and activities with a willingness to dive in and learn. 
She accepts constructive criticism in healthy ways and continues to grow in both of her classes. Wonderful. We love how she is always up for a new challenge and gives her best work each and every day. That's consistency. I have no doubt that she will continue to demonstrate these qualities throughout her educational career. That's what Ms. Meyer said about you. Amazing, Jasmine. There you go. I will say she is so very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. Amari McIntosh. <laughs> Amaria is a joy to have in my class. I always look forward to her warm greeting and friendly smile. Amara tries hard and is always willing to lend a helping hand. Whenever someone is struggling on her team, she volunteers to assist without hesitation. Hmm. She proves she is a fearless learner because she takes school seriously and strives for excellence. Without a doubt, Amari is truly a terrific kid. That's coming from Ms. Fells. And she ain't going to. Ms. Fell gone, she going to tell it like it is. She, she know. Mia Bodokan. All right. I've chosen Mia for a terrific kid. She has shown tremendous leadership with her academics and her behavior in the classroom. She is a fearless learner. She takes on every task with a positive and willing attitude to learn. Mia is the model student for her class. That's what Mr. Holloway said about you. And if y'all know Mr. Holloway, that boy tough. So if he gave you that, you got to cherish it. Marciela Pereza. <laughs> Yee! I think I got that right. All right. <laughs> Marciela is our first nine week terrific kid. She is wonderful. She's a wonderful example of what a terrific kid should be. She's inquisitive and loves learning. She's polite and respectful to her teacher and her classmates. She's eager to help whenever she can, can both during class and outside of class time as well. She's a great teammate too. I am so proud of the wonderful student she is and the great example Marciela sets for the rest of her classmates. We are so excited and proud to have her as our terrific kid this nine weeks. That's what Miss Boss said about you. She tried to make you blush on purpose. Oh, Mr. Barrows, write it down, get it in your mind. She will be invited to the conference because she wrote another novel. Ava Allen, all right. We had an opportunity to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, and, you know, we took some cheerings over there. You know, we got a growing Hispanic population. It was a wonderful thing, but I do believe Ava was in, in attendance. Ain't that right, young lady? Mm -hmm. Had a good time. She was talking up something. I had to say, Ava. But, you know, it was exciting. Every day, Ava comes to school and enters the classroom with a smile on her face and ready to learn. A natural-born leader, Ava not only helps her team succeed, but helps the entire class. She always leads by example and makes it a habit to consistently demonstrate the R3 Mosley success criteria. She's always ready, respectful, and responsible with her learning. Throughout the school day, Ava can be observed as always following directions, working diligently, making great choices, and helping her team and classmates succeed in all of her classes. She takes true ownership of her work and holds herself and others not only accountable, but to high expectations. Thank you, Ava, for always being an amazing teammate and a true leader. 
It is sincerely an honor to call myself your teacher. You truly are a fearless learner. Keep up the great work. Love, Mr. Barrows. All right. Y'all just bear with us a little bit more. We ain't got that long left. Y'all been such a fabulous audience. You're celebrating your children's and other children's too. And we appreciate that. Y'all are modeling for your children. You understand? Some of y'all might be asleep. But that's all right. <laughs> Wake on up. Penelope Shell, clap it up for her. <laughs> Miss Penelope Shell is a student I wish I had more of. She comes in the classroom and follows through with her procedures with no problems at all. She sits quietly during the announcements and waits for the following instructions for the day. She stays on task and follows her group role as leader and makes sure her classmates stay on task as well. She's an overall awesome person, and I'm so happy she's in my class. That's what Ms. Passmore said about you. Can you believe it? Of course you can. You do believe that. Oh, Leah Crumb, y'all give it up for her. Add Mr. Williams to the list. Mm -hmm. Aaliyah Crumb is my terrific kid for the first nine weeks. She's been chosen due to her love for learning. Her ability to use learning strategies effectively and her respect for her peers and teachers when it comes to the learning process. Ali is always willing to learn and goes above and beyond to master the content that she is taught. As we go over learning strategies, she diligently writes them down and takes the initiative to immediately apply them to the work she is given. Finally, Aaliyah understands how important it is to meet my expectations to make learning process for herself and her classmates. Aaliyah embodies what it means to be a fearless learner in my classroom and is the reason she is my terrific kid for the first nine weeks. That's what Mr. Williams said. Did that not make sense? I should have probably made it make sense. All right, Brett. Edwards. Here we go. Miss Session and I are pleased to nominate Brett for this award. He has shown great improvement in the year he has been in our class. First, we are proud to see him sharing more during discussions. Brett's hand goes up quite often to tell the class about how what we are learning connects with something he already knows. Secondly, Brett is taking more risks by volunteering to share his answers. We are blown away by the way he's ready to walk to the front of the room and use resources to add and subtract, share ideas about time, and discuss concepts like the weather. Brett is our nominee for Fearless Learner because he is bravely showing his classmates that you don't have to know it all to try. We are excited to see how much farther Brett will go. Congratulations, Fearless Learner. Love, Miss Lee and Miss Session. Very good. Cassiel Rodriguez. Oh, man, it's another great example. Cassiel is a positive leader in our classroom. He helps the younger students in our classroom. For example, one of our students was having a rough time and crying. But he walked over to the student and put his arm around him to comfort the student. He gives effort into learning new skills and really wants to be a leader. He has been such a blessing this year. Truly, Castiel is worthy of the honor of being chosen as our first terrific kid for 2022-23 this school year. Way to go, Castiel. That's what Miss Kathy said about you. 
And Mr. Thigpen agrees. He over there getting on the camera. Y'all give it up for Mr. Thigpen out there. Yeah. He gonna threaten me later, y'all. He probably gonna threaten me later. All right, we almost there. We almost there. Alexander Luna. Yeah. Alex is a great example of a fearless learner. He makes such a difference in my LLI group. He praises and encourages, encourages sorry, the other students to do their best. He's a great example, showing kindness and respect. Alex is very intelligent and adds additional information daily. He's agreeing with this. Leaving the LLI lab, he says, ladies first. They didn't taught you well. How sweet is that? Keep on being a fearless learner. Alexander Luna. That's what Miss Ryan said about you. Awesome. All right. One of the greatest personalities I've got to tell you. If you don't know her, you might want to get to know her before she blow up and make it famous for you. Yeah, who said, say it again. Somebody said go. All right, John Kiria Thomas. Y'all give it up for her. John Kiria is a wonderful student and a role model. She demonstrates leadership, care, and concern for her classmates. She shows up eager to learn. She's always on time and enters the classroom with a positive attitude. John Keir is the epitome of a fearless learner. Congratulations, Miss Jan, the intervention teacher. All right, y'all give it up for John Keir. Amazing. But y'all have been such a wonderful audience. We really appreciate you all for sitting through and showing kindness and respect to not only your child, but also all the other children that came up. I think Fearless Learner is definitely something to be celebrated. As you heard the theme throughout, we got to learn from our mistakes, right? And we got to keep on pressing. I'll leave this up to, oh, if, you were, if, you have, if you're a grandparent, these are for you. If you need a sticker and you want to display that, go ahead and come on up and see Mr. Overturf. He'll give that to you. Otherwise, y'all stay warm and have a wonderful day. We love y'all. Catch your eye, and you come to realize one can make a difference. Reach out, stand out, find out what it's all about. See it all, stand tall, be there to catch them when they fall. Life is bigger than just one. Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh. Life is bigger than just one oh, oh. But one can make a difference oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh.
all about See it all Stand tall Be better Catch them when they fall Reach out and Stand down Find out what it's all about Now see it all Stand tall Be better Catch them when they fall Life is bigger than just one But one can make a difference Life is bigger than just one But one can make a difference